Hello, this is Dr. Osman, and today I'm going to talk about a very interesting topic, a very recent topic. It's about pig heart transplant into a human being. You know, any, uh, in, in you know, technical language, it's called xenotransplant, where you transplant an animal's heart into a human's heart. So historically, it has been done in the past, and there is a success and a failure chance and everything. And if you look into the history, the first xenotransplant was done in 1600s, where a Russian soldier had a broken skull, and he got the skull of a dog. That's a xenotransplant. And of course, it had some consequences, and and you can go into my references, and you can talk, uh, discuss about it, or you can even ask me in the comments. Doctor Mohyuddin, I'm really impressed of him. He's leading that team, and he's working on that, and it's a it's a big milestone, honestly speaking. So when you have a heart, you need to take care of it. It's it's your own heart, but. What if you have a heart problem? Your heart is out of function and you need another heart, just like a person with a kidney failure. You need a kidney, no matter what. Just like that, you need a heart. And let's say they they <clears throat> let's say there is no heart donor, excuse me. Let's say there is no heart donor. Finding a heart is a way bigger problem versus finding a kidney. I'm not saying finding a kidney donor is easy, but still heart is just one and there are other factors you know so they had to do some genetic modifications it's not just a pure heart from a pork they had to do some genetic modifications and they had to play with the genes they had to uh, increase and decrease certain things and uh, you know we can go into details if you have more questions on that so they had to tweak those things and why pork heart only that's my questions. There are some structural and functional and morphological things that match. In the transplant, a very big thing is a match. You find the perfect match. Even if it's an animal's heart or animal's organ, you have to find a lot of similarities. That's why they chose, you know, pig heart. Because, you know, let's say structure is meant, you know, you have meant all those criteria you uh, are good with those and now comes the function where will you get that electrical activity that we call as ecg that most of us are aware of called electrocardiography where will you get that electrical activity electrical conduction where will you get the coronary circulation coronary circulation is the blood supply of the heart itself let's say i have a bicep I need this bicep muscle and in order to function that it needs a blood supply because that's how it's going to get its nutrition just like that the cardiac muscles need their blood supply so how would you get that you need that coronary circulation how would that coronary circulation match what you match you know with, with your system so you need a lot of matching process and it takes a while it takes a whole lot of research. And therefore, even with, with pig, it's not 100%. Even with this whole process, it need FDA approval. It's not, you know, there yet. It's still in the process of a lot of case studies, a lot of, you know, process of studying this whole thing and the response. And then, and even in the past, kid, uh, uh, kids or adults, Whoever got any valvular heart disease, they used to get valve replacement surgeries. You know where that valve comes from? Of course, now there are new resources as well, you know, synthetic heart valves also, synthetic heart valves also. So, but otherwise, you know, pork was also used for that. It has always been used. So there are things that match between pork and human being. It's not 100% match. Of course it's not. But pretty darn close let's go over those things you know first of all i thank dr muhammad mohyuddin from university of maryland to go over this whole process and you can find his more research online and you can talk to him he's a really nice person uh so so it's it's under fda's a, pr a permission that the procedure they did and you could not do it without the permission of the patient as well so you have to do it with the patient's permission they did 10 genetic changes they had to do immunosuppression because you do not want your own body to react against a foreign body in this case okay 
another important thing is it could remain healthy for a longer time the viability of the pig heart is more compared to other other creatures let's say why you did not pick the heart of a sheep it's a reproductivity issues as well in many many instances you know why not use a baboon we transplanted pig's heart into baboon and he survived for almost two years we want more than two years survival rate so we will see what will happen with this patient and he agreed to that because he had no other choice you know that's why they had to do it because you know uh he this patient who got this transplant he could not uh, could he receive a human transplant because he had a history of not complying with doctor's treatment instructions and that's why he went through this to save his life you know life matters a lot so as you know i mentioned before your immunosuppression is really important you have to suppress you have to suppress your antibodies not to act against that heart that you gave therefore they had to tweak they had to do some genetic modifications of that pig's heart in order to get into this so it's a process it's not easy and you need some structural and morphological and functional similarities and pig met most of those to be honest i'm coming to those papers as well and i've already talked about the valves that they used to do and we have four valves you know we have four valves and an aorta and and all those chambers and pig matches that so morphological similarities you know so again i was just underlining the heart valves that we were using in the past as well and here is my uh, one article that i would like all of you to read from pubmed on this uh, because anatomy of the heart is really important the functional anatomy, the physiological anatomy, the electrical conductive anatomy of the heart, it's so much in line. So that's why they picked uh, the pig heart. And here are some images. Here, uh, you know, this is pork heart. This uh, is our heart. And you can see these structures, they are pretty darn close. Pulmonary trunk, pulmonary trunk left atrial appendages and you see left atrial appendages here pulmonary veins here and so many things you know even the shape look at the shape shape is like this like a v you know the heart we draw not all creatures have this shape heart we need a shape we need a shape because it has to fit in that heart fossa you know and again more pictures on that you can see aorta here aorta here similarities l a a l a a PT here, PT here, RAA here, RAA here. You can go into detail with the names here. I'm just trying to save some time for us here. Superior, Kava, and all those things. SCV, uh, you know, and all those things. Look at the similarity. Look at the similarity. You can't find that much similarity. So structural, functional, and conductive. Conductive, excuse me, I mean, you know, electrocardiography. A lot of similarities. Another picture, human heart, pork heart. This is pork, this is human. Look at the similarities. A lot of similarities. What can you do? You have to, you know, comply with your certain standards. Again, another picture, similarities, pork heart, human heart, you know. Even, even to the slightest, look at this, fossa ovalis. It's a big thing for us, for us cardiologists. I love cardiology. I have, I've been into cardiac surgeries myself. I have been with cardiac patients. I have worked with ICU patients. I, I worked in Henry Ford in ICU patients. I worked in Spectrum, Helen DeVos, Children Hospital, you name a place. So I know these things are big. So knowledge is the key here. This fossa, this artery, these appendages, all these muscles, a big difference. It makes a huge difference. So that's the thing I wanted to show. And even these points I have elaborated before, you can, you can, read them in more detail i put these articles and uh, the muscles the cardiac muscles just like the bicep muscle you know just like that you have cardiac muscles those pectinates they need you know nutrition and they need that function so the pig muscles were quite similar to human muscles so why not pick that you know it's a science you cannot use a frog's heart for that let's put it this way you need four chambers 
you need those arteries you need those aortas you need those muscles you need that electricity you need a huge science it's not just one page it's not just one chapter it's not even just one book it's a pile of books that you need to go through in order to reach this process and it's still not 100 percent accomplished it's just one case that they have done right now there are going to be multiple cases and it will go through fda approval and it will go through a lot of process and then you know we might do it we might not do it we might just do sheep in the future you don't even know you don't even know the, the process and it's showing the mitral valve here in this picture that how similar that's why mitral valve replacements were getting uh, from pig in the past so a lot of and i have already talked about coronary circulation that the coronary circulation the circulation of the heart muscle that it needs is really essential and that matches quite a bit nothing is 100 percent in this world you have to have some compromises look at the shape look at the shape look at the morphology look at the chambers you see these chambers everything is matching here so why not you know good thing is that's why i brought the word of the sheep this is pig this is sheep sheep is not bad but there are conductive differences there are muscular differences that come into the play there are reproductive dif differences that come into the way a dog is also an option but no still pig goes up in the criteria what can you do you genetically modify the uh, pig and then use it for that purpose you know we have already been producing so many medications that way so so there are several potentially significant anatomical differences between pork and humans and so it is still a compromise and that might affect the success of the cardiac xenograft that we did it can still be affected it's just the beginning you never know there might be another synthetic heart maybe in the next few years you never know research is always going on research is always going on we are trying to use the embryological cells to produce organs and that's another research and i can talk about that in future if you have questions please ask me in the comments we will do another video on that so but that takes longer time and you need to save a life here it's about life and death a life is very precious honestly i swear to god life is very precious there is no price you can spend billions of dollars just to save one life and it's not just one life it's the life of a human humanity saving one life is like saving a whole humanity so again i'm comparing here the pectinate muscles and different or different you know hearts here and pork wins the game i don't eat pork to be honest I don't eat pork, but I have to agree with the with the publications. I have to agree medically with the knowledge wise. We always study heart uh, on the pig heart in the labs. Of course, in the beginning you do frog, you do frog dis dissection. But pork heart matches so much that you need to study pork heart in order to do that. I did dissections on these. I did dissections on the eyes of the pork matches things too bad so what what can you do you need those conductive properties you need those muscular properties so and this coronary circulation i talked about you need that so pork wins there as well sheep is pretty similar you never know it might happen you see human pig dog sheep there are some differences in all of those this is in more detail this is talking about the electrical activity how much you can match so yeah please ask me more questions on this i really enjoy cardiology it's one of my favorite subjects i love cardiology so very similar conduction that's the game changing thing you need a conduction of electricity that's why okay and yeah pig however has been proven to be a better donor you can't do anything about it you you have to accept it you know a third added gene helped better with the immune system yeah so that's the, that's the game that's the game about it so um, and you never know it might change in the future you know, so 
it still uh, needs a lot of research, a lot of multi-central clinical trials, and then FDA approval and so on and so forth. They are working on that. I really appreciate their day and night efforts that they are doing. It's not an easy thing. And please like, subscribe, and share, and ask me more questions. And in summary, I would say that it's a big achievement. It's a big match, and we will keep working on that. And we will we will talk about it in future more. And uh, you know, if you have questions, please ask me. And we will talk more about that. Thank you. Bye.